on streaming hello 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 i hope you are uh, you're live and you can see me clearly i'm just making sure that the tech is working fine i just want to see a couple of comments to make sure that everything is working fine so let me finish this off give me one second i'll be back I'm beating with it. Sorry about that, folks. I had to step out. Apologies for that. I'm just going to set up my uh, demo screen so that I can see what's happening. You want to make sure that. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I can see that it's working. Hi, hi, hi. Hello to all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Audio is a bit hazy. It should improve with time. I think the audio is fine. I was just speaking um, uh, rather um, unclearly. <laughs> now I think it should uh, it should definitely get better. I was going off. I stepped off to do uh, to handle something. So I'm back now. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm as excited as ever. Uh, lovely voice is a little distorted. I think that's a, that's a comment that's coming a little delayed. I think the voice improve voice should improve. I will keep that in mind. I will see whether it, it can be made to get better. I'm just going to check that. Hello, hello, hello. Check this. There's a note here. Yep, it says the volume is fine. I don't see a, 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 a big issue here. No. Hello, hello, hello. I will be louder. Hopefully, it should it should settle down. Hopefully, it should settle down. Uh, crooked sound and. Uh, background some distortion chahin some uh, happy independence day happy independence day to all of you independence day is one of my uh, uh, favorite days favorite functions i have um, this interference around the devices i think that that's coming from uh, dead stroke with a name like that we've got to listen to what he's got what he's saying om singh is saying good now i don't even know what i did but hopefully hopefully it has worked just going to do a bunch of uh, tech checks Make sure that our audio, video, description, everything is completely fine. It's okay now. It's coming from more people. That's okay. Happy Independence Day, everyone. Happy Independence Day. It's a fabulous, fabulous day. It's a, it's a wonderful occasion. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big girl, fan of the, the day and the idea, the rest of it. I think it's, uh, forget the, 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 the celebration. I think it's a good day as a reminder to say, hey, there are a bunch of people who laid down their lives and, uh, and did something more to make this happen. Just give me a second. Somebody's knocking. I would just check that. Just Sri Ram trying to make sure that the audio is fine. Thanks, Sri Ram. I think we are good. Audio is indeed working. Now we can manage. This, there is a static. I think that's because I stepped out for a second. I think that I'm moving out. I think if I'm staying in the same place, the audio should work, and it should work uh, really well. Um, it, it, should, it will stabilize. Right? So, as I was saying, it's a, it's a good day to act as a reminder for, uh, for, for ourselves, for turning up day after day and saying, hey, I'm going to do something meaningful out of my, my life. There's so many people who have gone ahead with, uh, who, who, who created this environment for us to have the freedom to do this, for us to have the, the choice to try and do this. And uh, we should grab it. We should grab it with both hands and say, hey, can I, can I really make something meaningful out of my life? And more out of my life. And audio issue. Once again, I'm going to... Some crane in the sound. I don't know where it is coming from. Just give me a second. I'll just check that. I will fix this. I'm going to have a good chat. Probably worthwhile spending another two minutes. I'm trying to fix this. Hello, 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 hello. Audio issue is prevailing. I'm going to check this. Give me a second, right? I'm going to make sure that the child's picture is much better. Okay, give me, a, give me a second. There's some interference that's indeed coming from here. Hello, 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 hello. Hopefully. 
hopefully she should get better. There's some uh, cranny and still issue there, still the issue is there. I'm just trying to fix it. I don't know, I'm still trying to fix it. The other mic should work. Yeah, let's try. <laughs> I'm going to try to switch the mic system. We have a backup entire microphone unit. I'm going to try to do that if this doesn't work out. Uh, I think we're just on it. We'll just wait for maybe um, uh, five more minutes or, or maybe one or two more minutes. Switch off and switch on the mic. This, this should work. Maybe I will try that. Maybe I will try that. I've taken the advice from uh, Jyoti Vail and said, look, I'll switch it off and switch it on. I'm trying that now. Hopefully, this works. Hopefully, uh, this is uh, working. So, AV is fine. AV is completely fine. So, the Anish Kulkarni says, Abhinav says, AV is fine. I think the, the trick one in the book, which says, hey, switch it off and switch it on, seems to have worked. Uh, Shiram, just hang on for a minute. If, it falls, if, it, if something goes wrong, we'll come back. Hopefully, it is fine. We've actually done three, four iterations in trying to make sure that tech is fine. We've got state-of-the-art mic system, everything. Uh, still audio issues there, Mr. Adu is saying. Uh, content is important, but, but hey, if sometimes it gets very annoying if the tech is not good. I can use that mic. Yeah. I, can, I think I can use this mic and have it feed the system. On wide, up, wide up differently. Hopefully this should work. I'm just going to wait for some feedback from you guys saying, hey, this is working. Let's start fresh with this new mic. Let us indeed start fresh with this new mic. Uh, hopefully this works. Uh, hopefully this works. Hopefully this doesn't uh, crash the system. <sighs> Sorry about this. Apologies. I think maybe we should have started a little sooner and uh, uh, Done the stretching, but sometimes very often we do the an elaborate round of testing, and then something new comes up. The day. I hope the, the the audio is clear now. Yeah, this is better. All fine, lovely. 
Lovely. Lovely. Several of you are saying much better. Someone saying, someone saying the first mic was better. Not clear. This is worse. Better much, but better much, but better no issue. Nice. Good. Little better. Still issues. It's still the same. All fine. Give me a second, guys. Uh, something with this setting we need to fix. Hello, hello, hello. This is better now. Hello, I've just done one more thing. Uh, just trying to fix. Piyush is saying all good. Some are saying some better, not clear. There are cracks in this. Better, better. Audio quality is acceptable. Scratching the ear. I don't know whether that will work. That will help. Hello. Hello. <laughs> sorry guys, really sorry. I think I'll continue speaking so that you can give us me, give me feedback. Otherwise, I'm just staring at it and trying to know whether one mic system works better than the other. Um, happy Independence Day to all of you. It's a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Uh, fabulous day to kind of uh, uh, say thanks to the bunch of people who went ahead of us and say, hey, I will put fight to do me something meaningful. And so, uh, this uh, Karthik is saying that it, it, uh, it, it sometimes occurs in Zoom classes also. We can re-log in if possible. I'm worried with YouTube Karthik that if I re-log in, the YouTube server thing becomes an issue. Uh, and and that, that's, a, that's a concern. Lovely, I think a bunch of you sitting there, we're, we're all so excited to have some discussion. I'm really sorry, beginning to get on my nerves, but uh, give me give me like one more minute. If it doesn't come, we'll go back to the old system and, 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 and revert to that. Uh, just like the speaker mic also has loud distraction. When you're speaking, there is such noise, and we are not speaking, there is no such noise. Ankush Patwari is more or less saying that I'm making the noise. Uh, I think I don't know if I can re-login and come back in because if, because on a Zoom server, the, the login is robust with the OBS. With my YouTube server, if I dial out of the OBS and come back to it, I lose the YouTube connection every now and then. In which case, I'll have to go all the way back in and the, 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 the connectivity disappears. And so, uh, probably dial down the volume. Maybe check if it's properly plugged in, it's properly plugged in. We didn't. Just check a bunch of times. We can place this a little further down the line so that it's not it's not so loud. Several of you are saying, look, let's just roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. And so first of all, our best wishes, give or take a hundred days more. I don't think it's mathematically accurately uh, exactly a hundred days, but hey, give or take a hundred days more. What do we do? What do we do in these hundred days? I'm gonna do a maybe I have five points to, to add. Um, many thanks to to, to Shweta and Akib. I have these five points. So I'm going to discuss these, um, and then we will 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 have questions open. By that time, hopefully, the volume should settle down. Right. And before that, a quick reminder: we have a wonderful sale going on on August uh, 14, 15, 16. Available till tomorrow. It's a, it's a beautiful discount on a ton of our courses for CAT 2022 and CAT 2023. Do check it out. Those of you who have not tried the course, you must try it. It's a wonderful course to try out. Whether you buy or not buy. That's a separate decision. You should definitely try out the course. Hundred and four days, bunch of people have corrected it, I believe. Super. Uh, important things to keep in mind and be disciplined. Super important. Uh, sometimes we all commit to a big thing uh, and we start off on a journey and we are bursting with motivation. So independent day, I'm going to do something. Or hundred days, it's a sprint. And then life catches up. And I'm, um, I've been a victim to this on number of occasions. My own uh, fallibilities, my own flaws, my own uh, incorrect wiring in my head uh, means that my, my motivation goes off. And somewhere down the line, I, my ambition gets reduced. And I say, look, uh, maybe maybe I can settle for something else. Maybe this is not really my thing. This is, this is not even good. Uh, the classic uh, sour grapes thing. I tell myself that. And then I say, I don't need to be 
सुपर फिट आई कैन एनी वेयर रन एंड कैच अ बस अगर बस नहीं है तो भी ठीक है वही शुड आई रन एंड कैच अ बस सो आई डायल डाउन माई एम्बिशन आई गेट हैप्पी विथ द वट आई एम डूइंग बट ऑल ऑफ दैट बिकॉज माई इनिशियल ब्यूटिफुल स्टार्ट मोटिवेशन किक गोस ऑफ सो मोटिवेशन इज अज अ किक स्टार्टर but then discipline has to be there after that you've got to say i am putting in 10 hours every week i'm putting in 10 hours of reading every week i'm going to put in 10 hours of content every day every week i'm going to take one mock beyond this every week no matter what i'm going to sacrifice my whatsapp fb instagram tiktok whatever not and i'm going to stick to it i'm going to study every day from 6 am to 7:30 am or i'm going to study every day from 9:30 to 11:30 in the night every single day and so that is super important now is the time to say uh, my grand motivation and fade it's not going to work i'm going to stick to a rigorous plan be that boring guy who turns up day after day after day and then make it work failing which be relentless i've always found the motivation stick to be uh, to, to to be tough the discipline stick to be even tougher and so i work in spurts i have moments of uh, mad rushes and then i i i i i i try to throw everything into it i'm more like your uh, who do i say somebody from footballer or cricketer who's in the zone then can can do the zone part really well uh, but then fades off every now and then so i need to make the zone count so so i set myself broader longer term targets not 3 month 6 month target but week long target i say look this week i need to do it for last 14 hours if monday tuesday wednesday i have been poor i guilt trip myself on on thursday and friday if monday tuesday i have been fantastic i say let me nail this i'll go all the way do four hours each day and then get more in the, in the back and then i'll take a break so i can do a one week plan of 5 am 7:30 am thing because that day 6 am i don't feel like it i don't so i'll say look if i have a super disciplined plan then every time it falls back uh, i feel miserable i guilt trip myself mood chala jata hai so i feel like ki kaam nahi kar raha hu aur bura bhi lagta hai i can't enjoy i can't watch a sitcom i can't watch football i'm anyway not learning so it's not like any of these things are happening and i'm i'm bad so if it doesn't work it doesn't work and then i say when it works i nail more of it so uh, relentless works way better for me than discipline because discipline comes with it a miss at 6 am if i'm not up for it then then cut and there are so many variables in life which we're not which we can't control so i i would want to do something at 6 am but something else happens i've had a, a a late night i wake up at 6 am super groggy and i should say look i'll listen to my body i'll sleep it off i'll put half an hour in the afternoon but if you are a slave to the idea of discipline then you can't do that and for my style there are variables that come because of my life and then there are variables that there i am not in the mood so i i go for this where i say look a week i'll get this done that way the day to day variances i can handle that i don't i don't kill trip myself to death when you are preparing and preparing for a long stretch you cannot afford to uh, kill trip yourself you cannot afford to be in a place where you start feeling bad because one day of preparation didn't go well or two days didn't go well so that's super important to feel good so so keep that in mind being disciplined is important rather than work then being relentless is a, is a plan b that works for me at the very least fine uh hex note saying please fix the audio um, i thought the audio was kind of okay only the volume was a little loud i think shreenam is continuing to work on the audio we will we will get something fixed or make it slightly better in the next 5 minutes uh, but i don't want to stop i want to go ahead so kindly i just put headset on or remove headset put the speaker on manage the volume up and down will do with that okay right? sorry guys sorry apologies for this right? have only more 10 more minutes of the prepared speech I, I, and then i'll take you and i think bunch of you guys have put questions there i will strive to answer all or most of them maybe four more slide only five points that we already won down right find some balance it's super important and uh, the irony is if, if many of my classmates my friends uh, my wife they came to realize that i was giving gyan on finding balance they'll have a good laugh about this and so i must put the caveat right up front i am saying this from a position of weakness not from strength i haven't found balance at the right time in my life i don't think i found good balance yet but hey sometimes i can tell you try to find balance even though i have not managed it and so put this under that category i'm not preaching that from a position of look having cracked it think look i have not managed it hopefully you guys can okay can we turn off and turn on the obs and we'll try that 
give me a second. We're going to try that as well. I'm going to turn off and turn on the OPS. I think, I think uh, Jyoti may have suggested that. We will try that as well. Give me a second. Hello. 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 This one. Did not work and said we should restart the uh, the OBS. Many thanks, many thanks. I'm very sorry that I didn't get I think I think it is Jyoti Bear, but I'm not sure. There was not Jyoti Bear, it's somebody else. But thanks to you, Jyoti Bear. And it's somebody else. I think it was Karthik. So whoever it was who said let's restart the OBS, uh, please, please, please put your hand up. Many thanks, many thanks. Thank you. Good, good, good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Works brilliant, yes. I'm so happy now. I'm gonna be way more relaxed. Like a part of my brain was like, why is this not working? I'm so Part of my mind was like, I've been annoyed with audio fields that have uh, been sub It makes you switch off. Uh, and you feel like you put out of it. I'm going to do it. need to put up with this. Uh, thankfully, there has been fixed. Many, many thanks. Many, many thanks for, um, for uh, giving them this now. Uh, now it's one of them. It's kind of a like strange balance. Like our microphone system. Uh, I'm not got it. I'm not got it. I'm just going to spend clearly. What is the balance I want to talk about? Um, I want to talk about the balance between uh, sessions. Uh, the echo effect. There's an echo. There's an echo now. It should be. There should be an echo. Oopsie, oopsie. Maybe because I'm moving my hands or arms. Or... Give me a second. I'd like to fix the echo effect also. better than the audio but today has not been a good day for mic systems. Mm. Hitesh is saying let's go back to the road mic and uh, and restart OBS. Uh, it feels a lot like having a nightmarish VR. It's like you guys are having fun. I'm mighty glad. Uh, now he's saying perfect and okay and better now. Better now. Like lovely, lovely, lovely. But I don't know what's happening. It's up to the audio gods for us to keep it going. Uh, this is fine. This is perfect. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, this is work. This works without echo, without the sound burst, without the noise in the middle. All of that. Fine, sir. Uh, last time when people said it was perfect, I was thrilled. Now I'm still cautious. Maybe it's perfect. Maybe it'll conk off again. Hopefully, it doesn't conk off again. And uh, find balance. Find balance in your preparation. Find balance across sections. Uh, you can't be a toy in quant and completely have a, a banker weakness in verbal or uh, 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 absolutely no handle on LRDA. It can't work. It will come back and haunt at some point of time. Uh, fine. So uh, have some balance in your You don't get carried away with your strong areas uh, and, and completely let and, and have a weak section. And have a sense of balance between cat prep and life. Don't quit your job. Don't piss off your boss. Don't scream at your professor. Uh, don't burn your bridges. Don't do any of the stuff that can land you in trouble if cat doesn't go well. Exercise, play, have fun, meet friends, don't be isolated, don't add pressure, there's going to be a pressure exam sooner or later, don't add more pressure than there needs to be. So, so uh, you, you need to find 15 hours a week, but it can't be uh, all the time, it can't be something that you're thinking all the time, that you, somebody calls you and you're like, why did you call me, it's going to be 10 minutes, I'm going to The good friend, speak for 10 minutes, not the end of the world. You can compensate it, you can't be so maxed out that you can't find 10 minutes to speak on the phone with a friend. If you're working deep, you don't take the call. That's all right. That's all right. Kabhi-kabhi hume baat nahi karna hota hai. That's okay. Kabhi-kabhi kuch karna hi nahi chahiye. That's also okay. But you can't put everything on hold in the name of cat preparation. And so it catches up somewhere. Ek hafte ke liye theek hai. Char mahine ke liye theek nahi hai. So you have to find your, 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 your balance between preparation and breaks. Your balance across sections. Uh, and in terms of being intense and adding pressure. Nahi hona chahiye. And pressure nahi hona chahiye. 
read a lot. I never tired of saying this. Most of uh, us, I think, I think um, whenever I say read a lot, Chatin is immediately ready to say read effectively a lot. Right? So for me, effectively is built in, but Chatin makes it a point, is drilled into me, saying, don't just say read a lot. He said read effectively, which is super important. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm completely on board with that. Uh, the, uh, read irreverently. Don't read to retain and, and uh, memorize and, and hold on to facts and jot down points. What's up? Hey, what's up? But it's, 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 it's this famous quote, which as you, I, I, I went by this, it goes somewhat like that. I don't remember it word by time. If I find it, I'll put it in comments. You, first time I went on the river, then it was a beautiful ride. I enjoyed myself. And somebody explained the beauty to me rather brilliantly, why it was beautiful. Next time I was clearly aware of the different elements of the river and why all of these individually and collectively were making the river right beautiful. It completely ruined it for me. That happens frequently for me. I read a passage and I quite enjoy myself. And then I, I read the passage as explained and elaborated by somebody else. And that, that joy, even in that incomplete understanding of the passage, that goes off. And so you need to have mechanism where you read thoroughly, where you understand, where you retain, where you jot down a central point, where you get to the crux of the passage, where you, where you grab onto a contradiction, where you can pick irony, where you can notice sarcasm, all kinds of things. And you need to be switched on in the exam about each and every single one of them. But you should read a lot without bothering about all of this, without completely understanding all the words, without going to a dictionary and, and ruining your flow. Uh, without de-jargonizing it so aggressively that you can write a thesis on it. None of that. Just read. Read in your comfort zone. Read outside of your comfort zone. But it's a super compelling good habit. It's one of those um, uh, habits that works both ways. It's a good habit to have. It's a very bad habit to not have. Both ways. There are very few things that are that powerful. Very often I say, look, some people cycle. Cycling is good. But you don't cycle, that's not bad. You have other ways of burning. You have other ways of staying fit, you have other ways of inspiring yourself or going out. I don't cycle. Uh, you read a lot, that's good. You don't read, that's not good. It works both ways. So read a lot and uh, definitely uh, maintain and build that habit for a lifetime. And of course, go to Bharat's reading list. Grit through your tough faces. This is super important. This is going to happen. Almost everyone goes through a couple of phases where the belief goes away, where you don't feel like it's going to fall in place, where it um, But it's a 300 hours down the drain. I'm the bad Bangalore, Calcutta, I'm the bad Bangalore, Calcutta, I'm the bad So all these thoughts run in your mind. 25th rank college is fantastic. The way economy is going, top 50 are fantastic. And so that's super important to keep that mind, to have that perspective. Second, the, 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 you have to accept and internalize that a smooth ride. Now, 80th percentile, 83rd, 86th, 89th, 92nd, all the way straight line by the time I go on blazing away. There are going to be plateaus and there are going to be steps back where your percentiles are going backwards, where you feel like I revise all of but if I exam, I will forget it is going to happen. It happens to almost every single person. Hone hi wala hai. It would be very unusual if it simply didn't happen. And so, when I was preparing it, 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 it happened a couple of times, especially because um, I started magically well. So like when I started my uh, preparation, when I had, when I was taking my mocks for the first time, it was five months before CAT, six months before CAT. We were all anchored through, towards mocks. It, it, it was like I had spent my entire life preparing for this exam. So I got on to the, the cat uh, treadmill effortlessly. I know it must be wildly irritating for you guys to say how somebody, <laughs> say how, how much fun and easy it was, but it was. I was magically happy doing mocks. And then I, was, I had a gigantic lead over a bunch of my peers who were ridiculously good. And they were shocked. And then they caught up. And then they caught up. And then they caught up and they caught up and they caught up and then they overtook and went a couple of steps ahead. And then I had to uh, reconfigure the way I was doing because I got so comfortable thinking I was going to nail this that I had not worked on it. And that was a weird phase where I had to come back and, and learn a bunch of new tricks and then go and compete with them. 
but it it it, it shaped the journey so even guys who are super comfortable and get 98 99 every mark uh, you guys will probably also find some plateaus that you have to grit through sometimes solutions fall in place sometimes they don't sometimes you're doing all the right things but the results don't manifest it is super important to say hey i'll hang in there ho jayega ho jayega ho jayega and so like the famous tamil movie vikram is a path to glory and so it will happen it will happen it will fall in place and so uh, you should say you should have faith and say ho jayega it will happen it will fall in place public last bit which kind of ties in with everything and we don't want to have a, a session from 2 am where we don't say hey have fun it reduces the pressure it uh, changes the way you view this it changes it from being outcome driven to process driven it 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 says look i'm read solving some puzzles i'm doing tons of math i'm becoming more numerate more articulate what's not to like i can i can say look if the top line grows by 6% and costs come down by 3% then my net profit should go up by 46% to and that's a brilliant outcome in this economy and i can do this in my head and process this and think about bottom line and top line because i've done lots of questions that i'm processing data if you can do that it hardly matters whether you you go to cat and go you can you can have a financial career if you can do this and maybe that's what you're aspiring to and so um, have fun you're going to learn lots of numbers lots of math become comfortable with numbers that's important you're going to have uh, read a lot and become articulate when i find articulation ability and reading and processing ability probably the top two skill sets people need to add on now in this era so if you add that you're good to go and i can't i would not never say it's incidental it's not fight mar raha hai yaar bahut fight mar raha hai isko crack karke next phase jaane ke liye koi bhi outcome agnostic nahi ho sakta dvm ne chance se hai not possible you can't say i will turn up on the day of the exam let the cards fall where they fall where they fall they are not gautam buddha they are not but as much as possible take an active effort to deemphasize the outcome and say look i am enjoying myself i am learning what's not to like it's tough it's super tough but if you keep on saying that to, to yourself uh, it it it's just fall in place over time right? i'm pretty much done uh, it's been taken a little longer than how much time i thought i it would because mainly because of our, our audio issues but hey it's good so i'm going to have a handle a bunch of questions i'm going to start from uh, ross satya every day i've been reading two articles and solving two rcs from june daily speed has increased um, accuracy has not improved that much what to do dial down speed uh sometimes that accuracy is also an attitude issue where we tell ourselves that i'll answer at time five will fall in place five won't you have to say look i'll try to get everything right no matter how long it takes sometimes we leave that final ferreting and fretting about uh, the last two choices because we think that sometimes it will be a sometimes it will be c these guys always get me wrong i'll attempt 10 questions some eight will be right no no shift that attitudinally say look i'm going to get this right i'm going to spend another minute another two minutes another three minutes reread the passage but get it right resolve that one out of two the more you resolve the one out of two the better your accuracy will get um one go next to see rasatya put it 200 percent let the i am reject you but at least give your best first harsh vyas is doing it for me how much percentile should you ideally be getting at mocks at this point shreya agarwal wildly varies my mock percentiles for instance were super high on day 1 and they came down slightly and then and then amped up but i've known guys who amped up from 50th percentile to 99th plus it wildly varies um forget the percentile i think credibly your score the number of marks you are getting now uh to the exam they can go up by 70 80% for most candidates Uh, namneet natrajan i'm working professional nearly 4 years of experience by next june do i have a good chance yeah definitely 4 years of experience go for it my friend i've had lots of students who had 5 plus years of experience who went into the iims when they, when they started with more than 5 plus and then they got fantastic internship fantastic job when i graduated 65% 70% of the batch were freshers and then another 15 20% were guys with less than 1 year experience this years the median experience is 3 years and so you're going to be you going to have 12 more months of experience than the median guy nothing no brainer go for it uh tommy sure should he practice the topics which has more weightage most definitely yes goes without saying definitely yes your your initial round of preparation is to get a handle on 
many things, several things, most things. And then you pick and choose your battles. Abhishek Roy got 97.85 in 2020, 96.72 in 2021. She couldn't convert any decent B school. Any suggestions for this year? Have a client facing job now, very difficult to have fixed working hour. Prepare when you have time. Your, your scores are saying you have your fund as in place. Another day, another thing, you'll fall at 99. We have a couple of guys who had good percentiles, uh, didn't get their best colleges, got a percentile just slightly lower, and then went to IM Raipur, NITI, uh, I did matter several, several good colleges. Right? So then they did fantastically well. One of them, Arvind, in fact, is a gold medalist from, from NITI, which is fantastic. It's a fantastic academic record to be a gold medalist from a college. It's a fantastic. So, so you, 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 if your fundas are in place, you know what this exam is about, you know how to compete, you know how to be intense uh, in the exam setting. You've done it once before. So to back yourself. Uh, don't put too much pressure. I think your experience, uh, the fact that you have more years of, of, uh, uh, in a job, in a role, will all help and pay off during the interview phase. So don't put too much pressure, it should fall in place. Uh, Rahul Patori, how many IM calls did you have? Are you from general category? I am from general category. Um, uh, funny story, I had calls from Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Lucknow, and indoor, but not Kori code, because uh, turns out I had not ticked the box for Kori code. So, giving all this gyan, I did almost all the mistakes, or several of the mistakes that you shouldn't do uh, when, when you are an aspirant. So, I, I hadn't applied to other colleges, FMS had a separate exam. I didn't know FMS was a good college and had a separate exam. I thanked XAT because XAT had a general knowledge section and I, I, I didn't care to prepare for it. I told myself that it's it I am or bust. Not because I am, it was I am or bust, but it was I didn't have the 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 wherewithal or the grit to to power through the general knowledge section. So I thanked XAT before I took it. Bad student I was. Rahul, I'm saying I took three marks. Ah, forget three. Three is not a number for which you can do any analysis. You sh should be like I took three marks. Now I'm going to take more marks seriously. Uh, forget about the scores, ranks. But it's first you get tired. First few marks are for just getting the hang of this. And there's an old statement from I think uh, Kanchiram. It's a Pele Chunab with elections and uh, and politics. I've been I've been. I, I like that quote. Pile chunav harne ke liye, dusra chunav harane ke liye, uske baad jeetne ke liye. Uh, the first four or five marks are for getting beaten up. The next four or five marks are for getting the hang of it. After that, your battle begins. Three marks scores are bad. You've not even started, my friend. Keep at it. Keep at it. Other says, hello, hello indeed. Subhashri, I'm a working professional. How do I manage time with practice? Uh, if you have unpredictability in your job, if, you're, if you have volatility, if you don't know which weekend you'll be free, which day will be tight, which month will have a higher deadline, then build on chunks. You say 15 hours for a week, early morning, late night, sometime in the weekends, sacrifice other things, uh, read when you're waiting for meetings, manage, squeeze in some topic like that. Do a little bit of hustling, not too much, because if you keep on hustling, you get tired. You get tired unwittingly. Some people are natural hustlers. They are always looking out for avenues all the time. That's their default mode. They don't tire. Some are not. I'm not. I really struggle when I'm in hustle mode. My, my neck starts aching. I'm super switched on about everything. And I say, look, as far now, on the journey, I'll be driving. Somebody will be driving, but I'll finish these three phone calls then. Then I'll go there. I have to wait outside that office for at least 15 minutes. At that time, I'll put the questions for the next day's class. I'll take a notebook and pen with me. Nothing happens. If I do all that, my neck is dead. I don't do hustle well. And so I can hustle a little bit, but I can't I can't anchor my entire plan around hustling for eight hours a day. Some are really good at that. So so if you you have to hustle a little bit, you have to stretch yourself a little bit, you have to maximize and optimize every now and then. But don't live in that mode. Kabi kabi fundamentals may panne ke liye hustle mode may nahi rahe sakte. Suppose you're in hustle mode, then you'll never learn the proof of why area of a triangle is R into S. Learning that proof has had payoffs for me in CAT because I can be able to think about the, recall an idea from that proof and plug it into a question because I've learned that proof. So, so it helps. And you'll never do that if you're in hustle mode. So don't always live in hustle mode. It's tiring, unnerving. But hey, you'll have to scramble every now and then. Don't go for discipline if your schedule is very volatile. Like that statement from uh, Mike Tyson. 
beautiful statement and some, somebody said mike tyson is a monstrously arrogant guy right somebody came and said so this guy says he has a plan for you and mike tyson said everybody has a plan till they get punched in the face it's a very very boxing metaphor but it's so true i've had beautiful plans in mocks then i look at the paper and just punches me in the face I mean, it, it's not even you can't plan around not getting punched you can say look i'm going to wake up every day i'm going to do a session from 9:30 to 11:30 in the night i'll be back home by 8 have a late start anyway i don't start at 8 am i can sleep till 8 9:30 to 11:30 is a good window for me and then you get stuck in traffic and then your boss gives you a deadline then you have to check emails and then you you come home only at 9:15 the plan is done dead sometimes it happens so you have to pick yourself up from uh, plans not falling in place rather than say i will execute every plan 100% of the time spot on nahi hone wala i have absolutely no grip on geometry is going with just arithmetic algebra number theory and modern math good safe yeah yeah you can the topic that you have mentioned if you are you have a handle on that you have a route to 99th percentile right 99.8 99.9 once you cross the 98 99 level then it does not matter how much you know you can't leave something uncovered you need to know those three geometry questions also but 97 98 ke liye what you have is sufficient you say look i need 97 98 in quant i can i that's my i don't need more than that for where i want to go and that's completely fine but if say look i want 99.4 in quant i want to get 99.8 overall in revisit geometry having said all that geometry is a beautiful topic to learn so give it one more shot for the sake of geometry it's fun it's uh, it's exciting it's thrilling some of the questions in geometry are beautiful ideas in geometry are beautiful so pause and give it one more crack this is uh, mr adu atulia joseph in mocks i'm not able to solve quant question but in analysis magically i can solve tell me about it i can solve quant quant cat questions immediately after cat it happens to everybody my friend this is question from uh, Uh, atulia joseph i can tell you it happens to everybody uh, an element of it is pressure an element of it is our overestimating our own abilities to solve and so sometimes sometimes it so happens that some questions you will do on tuesday they won't fall in place on wednesday automatically there are quite a few questions that you have solved in your mocks that every chance that you will not solve it on another day that happened to me i have taken some of the previous year cat questions i have took one of the slot questions like i solved them because i was shooting a video and i told myself look i'm so glad this these questions are so tough uh, i'm i'm so glad that I, i didn't have to struggle with all of these these were not in my slot turns out precisely my slot on the day of cat when i had taken those questions i was in magically good form i was nailing them really well so the converse is also true you never go to look at a question that you have solved really well in a mock and then feel like how did i solve this because you're going to do the analysis the next day chances are two months later if you look at that you'll be like look i don't know how to solve this but you've solved well in the mock both ways it happens we wildly overestimate there is a randomness in what kind of questions what ideas occur to you in that moment okay. and then there is pressure this happens to everybody there's no quick fix for it you have to increase your ambient level so this happens lesser and lesser and you you, you learn tricks take deep breaths rewire your brain make sure the pressure is, pressure is handled roll with it it should happen hardik sharma i'm circling around 80th percentile now can i make it to 99 yeah possible there's a long way to go we guys used to start preparing on august you guys have a, uh, several of you have taken quite a few mocks by now you can go is it mandatory to quit the job for preparation suman babu i'm rajesh i run a club which more or less reins us don't quit job for cat and so a job is precious a job is precious in any environment a job is precious in this environment a job is precious when the economy is doing well a job is precious when the economy is not doing well you learn tons of things in a job i learned most of what i do now or what i have done meaningfully ever in my life from a job I'm, I'm, my my son is 13 i want to push him to 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 do something in a shop when he has his class 9 class 10 break where he can be made to sit on on, on a on cash counter and collect bills and put receipts or or be in a library distributing sliding signing sheets you learn you learn things in in a job that that outside of a job you simply can't never quit job job is precious uh kanishkar selva sir i have most important doubt which is haunting me daily tell me about it 
I've got above 85th and 10th in UG, but my 12th percentage is 63.8. May I get a call from IIB if I got 99.5 percentile if IMB is my dream. I'll have to do the numbers on that. Uh, I'm not really sure of it off the top of my head. Uh, so please stick it in comments. One of us will check that out. Generally, if you have one weakness, a killer percentile can offset it. We have to look at the weightages, look at what it is. But remember one thing, from 99.5 to 99.9897, it's a huge swing in the scores in CAT. Most of them take the score, not the percentile. So 99.9798 can open pretty much any door. If there's one weakness or half a weakness. I'm not talking about I'm indoor and cold code, those guys are crazy criteria. Uh, Rajiv Ghadge. Uh, in VRC, I understand everything, but in the last two options, I seem to choose the wrong one mostly. Uh, I, I had that, my friend. I tell you what, uh, basically because my brain used to get tired. I, I shouldn't say I had that, I continue to have it. My brain gets tired from reading the passage. And I, I look at the choices, I automatically eliminate two. Uh, this is a joke, this is a joke, this is a comedy, this is relevant. In two of them. One looks super juicy, one looks blind. And then I'm choosing one out of these two almost without processing it. Because my brain says, you don't have it in you to resolve this properly. And I, I, I somehow I get tired of that last mile. Last mile I get tired. And I say, look, I'll put here, these guys will say, see, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, and I put it in and get out. So slow down. And take enormous effort and read, reread, find any one ground to eliminate something here. See if something is being overstated, understated. Put fight for that last two choices without worrying about speed. And then you feel like, yeah, this is resolvable. Then the speed and looking for the technique, all of that will come. Srinivasan, I'm a second year BCom student. I have one year for my cat, but I don't have any hope on me. Hope is the best of things. And to go for it, my friend. You have the world ahead of you. You have your entire life ahead of you, your entire career ahead of you. I get deeply resentful when 20 year olds become cynical. I don't have any hope on me. Give me a break. What have you, what is it that made you lose hope? And so you're going to have tons of experiences in your life. You're going to get, have ups and downs, hopefully, through them. There's no point saying I don't have hope. You have a plan, give it a go. Kuldeep Mishra, which matters more considering speed and accuracy? Accuracy, always, not even both. Uh, speed is incidental, fast is incidental, accuracy is everything. And this is this is fabulous TV series called West Wing. Uh, I don't think you guys can watch it because I've been looking for it for streaming. I'm willing to pay more for HBO Mox just for that series. And so it's, it's probably the best writing I've ever seen in my life. Probably the best writing in the history of television. I'm, I'm obviously overpricing this, but I love this series. And so there's a character in that who goes to the shooting range. He's a military man, a former uh, secret service agent who was there. Former military man, secret service agent. And then this lady says, look, I want to know what you marksmanship wise, what have, we, what have we got? Can you shoot this, the dead center, the thing, in the shooting range? Can you get three out of five? Says, look. And then he'll shoot. How do you? How how is it possible? Like, look, I'll have to try. What do you mean you have to try? Like, I'll have to go against muscle memory for the remaining two. So he's super confident of getting all five. He has to get three and then miss the other two. You should be the other guy. You can't say I'm shooting for 75% accuracy. What is that? You answer three questions and deliberately mark the fourth one wrong. How does it even work? The best guys, especially in quantum LRDI, aim and aspire for 100% accuracy. You have no business saying, I'm hoping for 75% accuracy. There is no trade-off. The really quick guys are super accurate. You're solving a question. For solving it correctly or incorrectly, it takes the same time. Don't think of it as a trade-off. Don't say, I'll increase my speed, even though my accuracy, why will it go off? Then you're increasing your speed arbitrarily. It can't work, right? It doesn't work like that. You can't say, I'll increase my speed and trade-off accuracy. How can you do that? I cannot multiply fast in and hope that I get it wrong. How does it work? To pause and say, in quant, I am solid. I take the right decision. I come to an answer. I mark the choice. I cannot deliberately mark it wrong. Incidentally, the odd question can go wrong. But you can't, you can't have to come out of the attitude of saying there is a trade-off between speed and accuracy. There isn't. The 
best guys have the best accuracy. There's no minor trade off. Some guys want to be so fast, the grounding is not there, so they start taking chances like slogging. And when you slog, some days it falls in place, some days it doesn't fall in place. That's not a percentage strategy. Don't slog. Suman uh, Babu, when I'm uh, Sanskrit Vashne, after completing geometry, arithmetic, and numbers, which all topics are my, revisit them, revise aggressively. I think you pretty much covered. If you come into arithmetic, geometry, and number systems, algebra is remaining. Nothing much. Venkata Pratik Tegala, I've started my preparation this month. What strategy should I adopt? Mocks, mocks, mocks. Aggressively mocks, excessively mocks, obsessively mocks. When there's, a, there's an entire uh, thing saying, practice how to prepare from June. So, try that. So, try that. So, go through that video. We've outlined it very clearly. But obsessively mocks. Mocks are the deal from here on in. Do you have any suggestions for job opportunities for non-engineers after undergrad? There are plenty of wonderful places where you can you can knock on doors at startups. Uh, go to LinkedIn, go to any public uh, forum. There are always people looking for jobs. Find interesting companies, send across your CV um, and then follow it up and say, hey, I'm really keen. I have the right attitude. I will learn whatever need you need me to learn. Uh, one of them should call you for an interview and then take it from there. Ask, seek. I'm sitting in IM by that just because of you. Oh my God, that is really overstated, Ashu. Um, Ashu Dawale, now I remember I've marked an email from you to say, look, I need to send a meaningful reply to this email. And I, it's sitting at right at top of my inbox. But unfortunately, me being who I am, it has been sitting at right on top of my email box for, a, for more than a month now. So I will reply to that email. Many, many thanks for that lovely email. Uh, Lecker maker, how to avoid negatives in VRC? Don't take chances. Take time to resolve the final one and twos. Sahil Bansal, can you tell something uh, regarding VRC attempt strategy? Nice. Read slowly. Read at your own natural pace. Don't rush through the reading. Every time when I was uh, very unsure about my VRC, I would unwittingly amp up my reading speed. So I'll be reading a paragraph, and then I'll tell myself I need to compete with all these guys. are reading really quickly. And read fast. And every time I did that, my error rate went out of whack. Because I'm not grasping it the way my brain needs to digest it. I say, Padro. I say, Degro, kya hai karke. So my, my eyes are glazing over parts of it. Where, based on my natural speed, I would have read a sentence, not grabbed it, read it again. Feel like I've grabbed it, then carry on. No, I was not doing that. I was just reading. And I was reading too fast. That can, that's a number one error one can commit with the VRC. Don't read too quickly. Then take time to resolve the one in two things. The one out of two parts, take time to resolve them. Don't rush through them. Don't say this is just randomness. It is not. It's a multiple choice based objective paper with only one correct answer. Make two right choices for everything. Pick any one in random. Screw these people. Nah, that's not there. There's a clear explanation why the answer choice is C and not that very close looking A. So you'll have to try to resolve that. Take effort for that. Now, 93, past seventy-nine past cash, non-engineer general profile. Profile is uh, Vishwa, it's not great, it's not bad. It's a kind of middling profile. It's going to be tough for ABC, not because the profile is the big deal, but there are going to be so many guys who have 90, 90, 85, 90, 90, 90. You'll have to get that much more than them. Getting more than a bunch of guys for whom the average percentile is 98. It's still possible. The last percentile that get a call is 99.6 for general category. And you have to get more than that. Because you have to offset something else. That much trickier. Have been struggling with... Uh, oh, this is Tanvi Vats. I've been struggling with DILR section quite a bit. Both solving the question and... Taking a heck of a time, any strategy or reference video for them. Prepare how to prepare for LRDA is a detailed video. There are about two, three of them. Go through that. Uh, go through the solution videos. It's super important. Lifetime, lots of time the solution videos are just uh, uh, answer key videos. And I hate them. I hate when solution video says check out all possibilities for these four tables. There are four tables. Only one of them works. That's not how I am trying. I have tried, gone down a path that didn't work for me. Then I said, this doesn't work, I'll try something else. So the solution, 
has to trace the thought process. So go through solution videos where it is a retracing of the thought process, not a, a highlights package of somebody having cracked it. And so I don't like that. I don't like the highlights package type LRDA solution. Make sure you take effort to carve out a nice detailed solution videos from somewhere. Two IM has solution videos for all the cat questions for free on our YouTube channel. So take time, go through them. Going through that gives you a same kind of sense of, okay, this is how I need to be thinking. Then slowly modify the way you're thinking. Again, remember that LRTI is super tough for everyone. Um, Aniket Agarwal, so teaching at time for CAT count as work X, if it is full time paid after undergraduation, yes. If you are a final year students, moonlighting as a teacher, no, it doesn't count. If you are doing a part time gig where you get paid on a per hour basis, doesn't count. Full time paid with job title, role, company, form 16, experience certificate, yes, it counts. Struggling in verbal, we've already covered that. How to build a good profile for IM? You don't need really profile. Profile for IM is 10 standard mark, 12 standard mark, undergraduation, work experience. These four. Apart from CAT score, these four are the most important. They literally put marks onto these boxes, find a composite metric and call you for interviews. So if you are a swimming champion or the international uh, chess player or a DJ in a popular nightclub, it doesn't count for anything to put you in the interview panel. They can't afford to go through this stuff. So be interesting, but profile is not that crucial for, 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 for uh, Indian B schools. Piyush says, after solving number of questions, I'm not able to draw, Oops, say, I've completely gone somewhere else. Let me just come back, give me a second. I'm just trying to chase this. Give me a second. Yep, we are doing number of questions. I'm not able to solve new questions. It's a lot of fluctuation. It is bound to happen, my friends. So don't don't overanalyze it. It's bound to happen. Keep plugging away. Grit through this. And just notice there are tons of questions. So I'm going to increase my pace of answering questions. Like I'm not going to finish this mock. It's hard to cover all topics of quant. Is it okay to cover arithmetic, algebra, geometry only? Yeah, definitely. Arithmetic, you're through, halfway there. Then add geometry, algebra, you're, you're, you're coasting. Go for it. May I skip PNC probability? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Those are outlier topics. Um, Ananta Pair, explain college convert process, how it works. Please elaborate right now, don't worry about it. Apply to a basket of colleges, finish quant, we'll fight that bottle later on. Which is the recommended way of preparation? Finishing every topic basic, then solving level two, or pick a topic, finish all levels one, two, three, then go to the next topic. Mix of both. Uh, revision is super important. The way I would recommend, take a topic, consolidate simple ideas, benchmark and see whether you grab cat level, where you feel like, look, again, I'm going to topic. I get a handle of this. You get that, go to the next topic. You don't have to practice everything and become the king in it, because even if you do that, you come back after a month, the chances are you've forgotten. But you can't go without finding the benchmark level. Then patai nahi lagta hai ki have I got it or not. So do the simples, consolidate ideas, do cat level questions. You feel like, look, this is the game. I've got the hang of it. Go that, go to the next topic. After that, when you revisit, you should start from cat level question. See where you stand. If you've forgotten, go back and fill the basics and then move from there. You don't have to become a master, but you have to go through the journey. It's iterative. If you want to grab percentages, it's not going to happen in one sitting of five days. It's not going to happen with, uh, with, with, the, with a detailed plan of level one, level two, level three. It's going to happen as, okay, I've done level one, two, I've got the hang of this. Uh, three weeks later, I come back, I take a cat level test, it doesn't fall in place, I revisit basics, yeah. Three more weeks later, I come back, I'm able to do all the tests, I don't have speed, good. Another three weeks later, I come back, I've got the funda, I've got the accuracy, I'm more or less there. The speed is also coming. Yeah, I've got it. So the revision has to come automatically. I took 15 mocks. I put it 40 to 45 in my past five mocks. Any strategy for you? Keep at it and get this. Lots of time. 15 mocks is enough to be able to make judgment. 
uh, but your score can double from here aram se take stock and and, uh, and, uh, and 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 kind of keep your wits with you keep tweaking variables it should fall in place uh psychat i have already answered that question uh, subashri what are the topics to, uh, topics to be covered in qa to get at least 90th percentile arithmetic that's it percentages profit and loss speed time distance and ratios ratio proportion and mixtures simple interest compound interest pipe systems work and time little bit of progression little bit of exponential logarithm you're good your route to 90th percentile is charted uh verbal suggestions we have done how much percentile is required to get at least call from new iim depends on profile general category students um, 95 96 should be there do 99 plus percentile uh, score great from this is bhumika but uh, score from first mock no 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 definitely not i've had quite a few friends of mine who started abysmally low completely could simply could not see themselves getting that i've had guys who got mock scores of 70 marks this is back in the era where they were plus 4 and minus 1 with paper based paper uh, while well, some of their classmates were getting 140 consistently and i remember this because the guy is good and he did go to several get admitted to several good iims i may be see but at the same time bunch some of some others were getting 140 and i from 70 i can see going to 120 110 i can in my head i cannot see going to 140 i cannot i, I, I or rather he couldn't he was like look i can see my best case scenario for verbal best case scenario for the data interpretation section back then there was no logical reasoning best case scenario for quant i'm assuming everything goes my way everything falls in place i'll get to 115 i cannot see 140 happening truth this 140 need not happen but 125 128 did happen and that was more than enough to get a bunch of admits so several guys uh, improved their scores by 80 percent 90 percent percentiles dramatically so they don't have 99 all the way through definitely not um arika malik so beautiful question in quant i find it very difficult to solve questions from multiple topics yeah with a little bit of percentages and ratios thrown in uh, mixtures and, and ratios thrown in mixtures and percentages thrown in averages and allegations thrown in so it keeps happening when topics get mixed i get uncomfortable uh, no easy fixes this only practice you do the relevant mocks there are super mocks that are, are specialist in this where, where we guys take go out of our way to create questions where we straddle topics, where we put together two topics and deliberately create questions that, that, that navigates both worlds. Uh, practice, 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 it should fall in place. But beautiful question, that is the ball game really. Uh, Gaurav Gandhi is struggling a bit in verbal, we've already covered that. Starting from today, can I get to 99 percentile Prabhat Kumar? Definitely yes, people have done it. I am ABC without work experience and average academics is possible. Possible, super tough. I don't want to say something is impossible, but I don't want to give false hope and saying, oh, jayega. without experience, you have to score another 25 marks. With average profile, it has to be another 20 marks. You have to get 45 marks than the good candidate who is prepared really well and scored fantastically. Not easy. <coughs> Obama Babu. Not an IP mat course, IP mat course though, it's available, just do IM, IP mat, we probably have the best IP mat course in the country. Sometimes my DLR course goes exceptionally well, sometimes worse, tell me about it, I'm still there and I've taken the last seven cats. So that's not going to change, the volatility is there. I think somebody else has answered how to handle uncertainty, there's no foolproof way for this. Bunch of tricks work, one is to uh, de-emphasize outcomes, enjoy the, the mechanics, enjoy the process, say hey I'm going to have fun learning this i'm going to enjoy doing a little bit of math and english if you, if you uh, define your preparation on, on those metrics it is good don't burn your bridges don't have everything riding on cat and so this is not a genius exam this is not the exam to prove what you're about this is one chance to tell yourself and the world that uh, you're a capable person and the great business have been built without mbas Great businesses have been built with MBAs who are not from IMABC. India's best businesses are not built by IMs. Several IM grads have ruined businesses. And so, 
the iron grabs have nothing phenomenal going for them except for having gritted through and powered through one exam and preparation cycle so the gritting and powering through is a defining metric cracking a 2 hour exam is not what what you are about so so don't define it in those terms that can help handle the uh, uncertainty how to reduce inconsistency of performance in the ilr it's going to be there embrace it it is going to be there uh mana malik i graduate from du bcom currently doing a job in startup as bdr should i leave job and prepare no 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 manage with job week in quant vikas chenna how to improve start from basics do arithmetic get it in the back before going to other topic get arithmetic nailed in before you go to anything else um akash kumar how to improve rc we have covered that dhruv mukherjee hello sir i cannot seem to get simultaneously good score in all these ah, tell me about it this is a serious serious issue we had one of our students called uh, manoj ramana who is a fantastic fantastic uh, life coach and a career guidance person today he's done fabulously well for himself i look up to several things that 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 he says he he, he seems to have a way with words and way with the mechanism which are far beyond his age and level of maturity and so he's a uh, is wonderful i in fact I, I had spoken to him. I want him to run a session for all of you guys. We will get it. This is a good reminder for me. We'll get it done within the next week or so. And so wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, she she took cat I think four or five times. And there was one occasion where he had a fantastic score in global, once in quant, once in data integration. And then one of us, like my colleague Baskar, who was his teacher, more or less told him, "No, the paper is done." you uh, workala ni vera dana plan yosikanu i'm like look this is done you done it thrice you you should think about some other plan as well manoj told me why so old manoj all of 22 23 said no sir i know this now i know that verbal i can handle i know the data interpretation i have in the back solving multiplying dividing i've done it for two and a half years you give me anything i'll nail it that's in the back i'm not going to mess up di anymore one out of two verbal days will work for me one out of two quant days will work for me it's going to be a year where everything falls in place maybe next maybe the year after and then it did fall in place the next year dude went to i am calcutta and had a, had a glorious career after that is continuing to have a good career after that so uh, it is not to say you should take cat five times or need to take it five times just to say that hey you should say look i get this, i got this my best section my best in each of the three sections if i can bring them together it's going to happen and that's a beautiful question we are see my best in lrdi my best in quant if i get this going in the same exam i'm going places that's your marker and then with that as the aspiration keep keep plugging away it should fall in place Abhya Agarwal is saying it's on Prime. What's on Prime, my friend? Please tell me. I need to know this. Uh, See what Agarwal. Please tell your cat preparation story to motivate us. Not much of a story. If it were, I would have done it. You know. How to reduce inconsistency in DILR performance? It's going to be there. It's going to be there. First step is to accept it because it's a decision-making thing, right? I try a puzzle for seven minutes, eight minutes. It doesn't fall in place. I'm already sweating buckets. I leave that. and then the next one comes very close i'm in trouble i do only one puzzle another day my first puzzle just magically falls in place this this tailwind for me this is one buzzing i get two more going so the, the thing is dilr kind of helps us handle uncertainty helps us embrace it deal with it so don't worry about super consistency in lr di never going to happen work on bounce back ability tin work i still have a shot at it tin work i'll still make the best of my remaining 25 minutes oriented towards bouncing back and rather than being super consistent currently scoring on 80th percentile this is uh, uh, sajiros lakhar is it possible to score 99 plus oh definitely yes definitely yes Sh- should i mark the answer for the question if in case i don't find time in getting the answer close to any other no 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 i don't believe that. this is famous meme right four choices 97 98 96 102 100 i've got 47 47 close to 97 so i mark that doesn't work if it's accurate if it's there mark it otherwise no no punts uh, bhumika but 
we've already answered that. Currently scoring around this, already answered. Verbal, Gaurav Gandhi, we've already answered that. VRC, already covered that. Simultaneously good score, yes. Can I learn LRDI entirely from past year CAT papers? Practically yes, and sectional marks, yeah, definitely. If you don't have the fundas, very basic ideas of percentages, growth rates, revenue shares, market shares in place, then it is trouble. Previous year CAT papers is a treasure trove, really, because we have now 12 papers. Six two R papers and six three R papers, which is huge, huge, right? It's large, gigantic number. Uh, a, a three R paper, LRDI alone, it gives you eight. So you have 48 sets from that. Two R paper gives five, 30 sets from that. You have 78 sets of mocks of DILR, which is extraordinarily high quality. If you take about, about half an hour for solving and grasping and seeing the solution for each of them, but you have about 40, 45 hours of worth preparation from previous year papers alone. That alone should take you places. Add mocks and sectional percentiles, you are covered. Uh, Shweta, my 10th is 96, 12th is 84. Will I be able to get? Yeah, prepare, prepare away. It should, uh, your, your marks are good. You have the fundas in place. You understand basic math. It should take you places. I think I'm pretty much covered everything. I'm, I'm getting questions which are consistently repeating. So I'm going to think about signing off. Uh, Manav Malik, I'm interested in finance, but currently I have a job in which I'm not satisfied. But just for the sake of job, I'm doing it. You should. You should. Uh, there is an old saying, and you should, the job is not there to give you purpose. They pay you and they call it compensation. You are compensated for something else. It is the most fulfilling, fun thing in the world. You should be paying. The guy is compensating you, which means, look, he is giving you money in lieu of something. Not just your ass. Not the one, uh, I want to wake up in the morning and, 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 and feel and jump with joy and run to office. Both are. Kabi kabi hota hai. कुछ लोगों को होता है बहुत लकी है वो लोग उनको भी शायद 40 साल नहीं होता है एक साल होता है 6 महीना होता है आई एम आर्ग्युएबली डूइंग समथिंग दैट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी डूइंग क्रिएटिंग क्वेश्चन कंटेंट क्रिएटिंग पेडेगॉगी टीचिंग लुक इट्स माय गिग आई वुड हैव पिक दिस इफ आई हैड द चॉइस सो आई एम रादर एनवीएबल पोजीशन टू बी डूइंग व्हाट आई एम व्हाट आई लाइक डूइंग एंड लकी इनफ फॉर मी दैट आई एम आई एम प्रीटी गुड एट इट राइट सो but I can tell you, even in my job, in my field, what I've chosen, that about 70, 60%, 70% of the time, I'm doing stuff that I'm not at home with, and I'm not that happy with. Maybe I teach for a, for a time window, I create content for a time window, but then I do 14 other things, which I need to do, which I have to do. I grit and bear it and say, look, this is a decent deal. I still like to get to do something that I like to do. If you find a, a job where 25% of the time you're doing stuff that you like to do, you are blessed and lucky. If it's less than 3%, you need to look for a different job. But you can't shut the door on the idea of a job. Funny, Hina, I, my, I finished undergraduation in March 2023. Should I get a job? Oh, definitely, yes. Don't quit. Don't leave a job on the table to prepare for a mock. I'm starting a mock now at 9. All the best. All the best. All the best. Raw Satya. VRC is not doing good, we've done that. Can only hard copies and mocks help and prepare? Yeah, definitely. Whatever material you have, make the best use of it, my friend. Um, I'm, I'm cartoon Tamil, I'm very bad at uh, comprehending RC. What should I do? Read away to glory. Don't worry about RC, just read. More and more reading will help. Uh, Pranav Kulkarni, I'm an IT professional. I started in July, I'm preparing. I'm earning 13 lakhs per annum, gross 20 lakhs per annum, C to C. Which band of colleges? Right up the top. Right up the top, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Lucknow, XLRA, FMS, nothing beyond that. Ananta Pair, after watching 22 years, I could understand how much important this education is. Now I have potential, but nothing in my profile. 22 years is just becoming an adult. You build profile mostly after that. When I was... To, uh, 21, I had just blown four years of engineering, learning nothing in it. And I was super lucky because I did that in a very good college. So people thought I knew my, my stuff, which I didn't. So 21, 22 is not a time to say, oh my God, ab kuch nahi kiya. Karne ka time abhi shuru ho hai. Those, only very few, like, like Sachin Tendulkar, had accomplished a ton of things when I was 22. Look, he's a freak of nature. He's a genius. He's born to do this. He found this out. People helped him out. The entire environment worked. Brilliant. 
but that happens for one in a million. 22 is when you start your life. I'm taking 15 minutes in RC, you sit back for a good person, you'll notice not. Your speed will naturally go to 10, 11 minutes for RC, which is rock star speed. You said the right time to, this is um, Ashwin Nair, is it the right time to start CAT 23 preparation? Oh, most definitely, yes. We're starting a ton of batches for CAT 2023 right now, both live and classroom and online everywhere. It's a beautiful time to preparing, start preparing because you have a buffer. You can learn from fundas, you can read and build uh, resilience. You can aram say build momentum, not be rushed into things. All of those nasty things that can that can trip up somebody who's scrambling in for some for in five months. So if you speak to these people who are right now on chat who are looking to take the cat this year, they'll all tell you, I wish I had char more mine hot air, scramble nai karta, ram se par leta, thoda enjoy kar leta, wo passage bahut hi achha tha. Mujhe thi google karke dekhna tha, lekin yaar kadam kaise karunga main LRDI. So you have more time, you can, you can enjoy yourself. Most definitely Ashwin Nair, it is uh, uh, right now is the best time to prepare. See what Sagarwal suggested percentile versus mass, we will come up with something like that, some malarkey like that based on what happened last year, year before. I'm not a big fan of that, but we will do it to give an anchor point, not now my friend, it's August. We'll do it in October. Harshit Sharma, I prepped very hard last year but missed because of LRDI, happens, happens. It is very tough to take, incredibly tough to take. Um, the, sometime when you are preparing for CAT is when we start appreciating how much pressure these uh, sports people and cricketers and footballers must be on a day-to-day -day basis. Their, their misses are all public. Times in a row, I am so worried. This is an LRDI hang up that's there. I mess up a Venn diagram, next time I do Venn diagram, I do it slowly. I am like, why shouldn't we do it slowly? I should attack it. Imagine the, the, a guy baits bold thrice. What must he be going through? And so if it, it, it is humbling. Um, what must Virat Kohli be going through? He could do nothing wrong for like freaking 27, 28 years of his life. And then he's doing seemingly everything. He's putting fight, he's turning up, he's dialing down his amp, he's tried amping up his aggro, amping down his attitude, everything. And then it's not falling in place for the poor guy. And he owned the world. He'll be going through. Hell. So I can understand the pressure of, of, the, of, of a near miss. It's cruel. Uh, I, I can only say, look, at, it, it should give you the confidence to say, look, I belong in this. I can compete. Two questions this way, that way I'm in. So, hey, that, that's something to take heart from rather than be uh, disappointed about. Take heart from that and then attack it this time. Rajdeep Ghadge taking mocks every alternate day, a good strategy. No, 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 too many mocks. If you have 100 days, you will take 50 mocks. No need to take no need to take any mocks. The mocks will fade. It will not be able to take any mocks. It will not be able to take any mocks. You take a mock today. You will not be able to take a mock two days from now. You don't need to take that many mocks, my friend. Wonderful, folks. I am pretty much done with almost all the questions. Shivam Talwar, what are you doing? It is a beautiful example. Wonderful one to prepare for if you have a heart set on a finance career. Because MBA is, is for shy and socially anxious person to succeed post MBA most definitely. Uh, being an extrovert or introvert uh, is, are both legitimate personalities. Right? So some you just want one type. Not, sometimes introverts are, 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 are super fun people because they are understated. They are not, they're not in your face. And they can grab five things that are unsaid because they know and understand, look, I will never say this. I'm not saying this. So they can understand the ambient, unsaid mood in a place and tone and people. So they're wonderful in an organization. So some companies like a good mix of everything. So you can have a great career. They're not uh, gregarious. Uh, Smriti, should I start with study material or from previous year papers? Do a few previous year papers to get the hang of this. Then revert to study material. Wonderful folks. Uh, many, many. Thanks for hanging in with me and going through and critting through the phase where our mics didn't work and our audio system were, 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 were cranky. Many, many, many wishes for a wonderful uh, Independence Day. 
a precious day so uh, time to be time to cherish and, and say thanks to the guys who went ahead of us and, and did the hard yards for us uh, and time to demand more out of ourselves on a day to day basis i think i'm saying this more for myself than for any one of you uh, every time i come and give gyan a part of me is super guilty okay, like do chill appreciate the irony of being the guy who is saying do this do that to people i'm super flawed so i must confess that i'm mostly speaking to myself let us all put fight to be some version of ourselves which is somewhat worthy of the, the millions who 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 put fight to give us this independence in the first place good day to 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 honor the guys and and tell ourselves to put fight a little bit more and so let's have hopefully the next decade will be will be indian i think the elements are in place i think our economy is in sound footing it's got a good balance that not heavily bias towards any one thing but wonderful youngsters like like all of you who are, who are going to come out of the workforce and, and do wonders ambition is there the the technology is there the infrastructure is there the digital infrastructure is doubly triply there the world is your playground i fervently wish um, i was born rather into the your generation graduating now with, with global dreams and not uh, saddled with the, the with slightly middle class mentality that we guys were saddled with uh, but hey there are tons of things to appreciate about my time i i have a sense of gratitude towards that but as a as a person joining into a workforce being part of the economy there is no better time than now to graduate and and have phenomenal dreams and chase them and so grab them hang on to them be super ambitious put all the effort that you can find get reserves of energy and throw into this embrace the uncertainty you can prepare everything and i think like I think the name starting with hesh think it was a harsh mention look it was this close i missed out can happen can happen and there are no guarantees in life definitely none in cat exam cat preparation uh, but i can tell you this much if you put fight and and throw turn up and do well do put fight and turn up your confidence amps up and you feel like look baki sab sambhal lenge pata kala and lovely many uh, wishes for the independence day have a great week ahead i'll catch you once again maybe maybe a week from now or a couple of weeks from now thanks a lot for hanging in and and commenting and posting throughout a reasonably long session bye guys